It's about cleaning. It's about cleaning. Uh, it's about the uh, hygiene. It's about uh, how to keep your microphones clean. Hygiene is really um, talk of town these days. How to keep it, keep everything clean, and of course, microphone being so close to people, being so close to um, to to the germs that we are spreading, uh, it's super super important to uh, to know how to clean uh, the microphones as well. We talk about different types of microphones when we do this, like microphones that are um, um, let, that are body worn. It could be microphones as headset microphones, like the one that I'm wearing, or lavalier microphones. It could also be uh, handheld microphones, like um, um, vocal microphones. It could also be shotgun microphones. When you are using microphones for voiceover, um, they are also very close to um, people, um, of course. Also, how to clean podium microphones, because when we are addressing people, we see our prime ministers all over the world, they are addressing people, they are uh, talk to the nation. And of course, we need to clean the windshields and the microphones after they've been spreading their germs to the microphones. And of course, studio microphones, microphones that we use for our webcast, for, for um, home recordings. Let's start with the um, lav mics. Um, lav mics are in the DPA world a number of different items. Take the microphone like this here, and then you take the cap off and you expose the capsule, and that you enter into not alcohol, but demineralized water. You um, you uh, you rinse it. You can even you you don't have to um, to have it live when you do it. But if it needs to be, and you need it, you can just have it live. You can uh, connect it, and you can listen to it. Just shake it a couple of times, and the water drops will be will be off, and then it's uh, good to go. Back on the headset. That's the uh, the forty sixty mics. Um, forty sixty one, forty sixty two, forty sixty three, and so on. Also, the heavy duty mics um, they can be rinsed the same way. The caps, the high boost, the long tube, and the soft boost, the short tube, um, they uh, they can be rinsed in um, in alcohol. Um, if you have lipstick on them or you have makeup or whatever, they maybe need a little more than just water. Lukewarm water with a little soap can also um, do the trick. So that's for the uh, for the lav mics. Um, but of course, this also goes for for headsets because that's exactly the same capsule. You take the, the little cap off, you rinse the microphone in demineralized water, and you rinse the cap in some some sort of alcohol. The 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 rest the 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 actual headset and the boom and um, and everything around it you um, you can rinse in uh, isopropanol um, wipes. The new talk of town is the directional microphones. In DPA world, it's called 4080, 4097. Um, 4098 and 4099. They, they are all directional microphones. Anyway, this is a directional microphone. It has an, a long interference tube and the, uh, I don't know if you can see it down there, but that's the capsule way down there. Um, but the interference tube and the windscreen obviously also needs some cleaning. The rinse, windscreen is easy. That's just a, a little sponge, more or less. Lukewarm water. And soap. Rinse that in like you would wash your hands, and then it's good to go. That will cover the microphone, um, and for the most part, it will be um, sufficient. But if you want to do something special, you take the um, the directional microphone, and you put that in 
the demineralized water as well. You probably need a bigger glass. So you, this is how you do it. You just sink the microphone in and you rinse it. And now it's free of germs. You shake it and make sure that the interference tube is not filled or clogged with water. Um, and then you dry it and you put the windscreen back on and it's good to go for the new prime minister. But we have always been lecturing about not to, s to immerse directional microphone into water. But new findings are that we can do that because the, the ventilation tubes, the, uh, the acoustic ventilation tubes we have uh, to the back plate is so small that it will not um, um, be uh, ruined by adding uh, water to the microphone. So th that is very good news because when you're working with, uh, with something like the 4080, the, uh, the directional lav mic, um, it's very close to the uh, to the mouth, um, and you would probably need to rinse that. And then, of course, the directional headsets. I have always, on my seminars around the world, I have been talking about. Well, you don't need to rinse the headset because basically, what the reason why we we uh, rinse the Omni headsets is because the they they are very close to the skin, and you get makeup on them, and and you maybe get sweat on on the headsets, but um, to be honest, the directional headsets, you never get sweat or makeup on them. And you are always using a some sort of a, a, a windscreen, a small windscreen on the uh, directional headset anyway. They won't they won't perform very well without windscreens anyway. So just rinse the head screens, uh, the head, uh, the windscreens for the uh, directional headsets. That's what I've been saying all the time. We look at 4088. Um, the directional headset, the 4188 and the 4288. They can all be rinsed now. But please bear in mind that this does not include alcohol on the capsule. So that brings us to the next topic, which is the cable. If we use alcohol on the cables, we will risk that the cable will dry out. It will dry out and it will, it will crackle. Don't use the isopropanol and the vibes. Uh, coconut oil to rinse the cables uh, or degrease the cables with uh, this uh, degreaser. It's a bicycle um, degreaser uh, and I've left the QR code here for you so you can look it up for yourself. Wash your hands and clean, clean your hands and clean everything that's close to your mouth. The Handheld mics is a different uh, story because when you are using the um, handheld mics, you are using them very, very close to your mouth. You are singing into it and you are spitting into it. Um, in worst case, you are doing beatboxing. And don't worry, I won't do it because I'm not very good at it. Um, but you are adding a lot of germs right into it. I will show you how to rinse uh, a vocal microphone. I'll go back to my close-up camera here and show you on uh, this grill here. I unscrew the grill and um, in here we have the capsule. I could wipe that off. I won't, will not emerge this into water. water. I will remove this first. Wipe that off gently. It looks very fragile. It's not that fragile. It's, it's very rugged. It's the pop filter foam in here. The outside is the metal. I can. What I do, I take the pen in here, out of side of the windscreen, and then I take my finger on the inner side. There we go. And then I pull out the foam, and I rinse this in lukewarm water with soap. And this one here, maybe I wipe it down with isopropanol. Rinse it, rinse it, and then put it back in. Boom, like that. And the fine mesh, back in. Capsule. Rock and roll, ready to go. This is the 2028. It looks a little different inside, but the idea is exactly the same. This is a large diaphragm. This is the 4041. Very, very gently, I take the grill off. And there you see the capsule. The distance between the um, the capsule and the back plate is 
so small that even touching the diaphragm will will um, will make the diaphragm touch the back plate. So and and you don't want that. So I would not recommend that you rinse the diaphragm at all. Maybe um, a little uh, like a uh, a little dust um, spray um, to rinse it from dust, but um, never use any liquids on the diaphragm. Um, you can take take the grill off the 4006s and rinse those. Of course you can. Do not touch the diaphragm and do not uh, rinse the diaphragm in, in, any, um, in any liquids. Shotgun mics. That's the DPA shotgun. The capsule is way down here. So all this up here can be rinsed. Um, and I would do um, isopropanol uh, wipes uh, when I do it. Uh, I would be careful not to sink it immersive into alcohol because I don't want any uh, alcohol on the diaphragm. So make sure you rinse the windscreen often every time someone's been talking into it. Here, 40, 4188 that was, um, right here. Here we have it. 41, into water, demineralized water, clean it, there you go. What I do, I take that out, I could also rinse that in demineralized water, the foam out, and rinse that in lukewarm water and soap. It's very easy also to get it back in place, the rubber suspensions here, they are available as uh, spare parts. So it's not like you are breaking the microphone if if this part here comes off. Um, it's easy to put back on and if it breaks, uh, it's available as a spare part. So if you are using them, let's say on a violin player, you are um, relatively close to, um, to, to, the, uh, to the player. Uh, to the player's mouth and if he or she sneezes or coughs or something and you'd like to clean those mics feel free to Marius is asking can I clean it using compressed air yes but don't pu don't push the, the blow the air straight to the large diaphragm microphones again cleaning it blowing air from from the rear 60 66 mics that will really uh, make sense because you take the cap off the 6066, it clicks off like that, um, and the diaphragm is way down there. Rinse that in demineralized water. Uh, the uh, the cap here now it's wet. I will uh, blow air from this side and and clean the um, the microphone. Good. I have a um, um, not a, a UV lamp here. I have ultrasound. Here we go. I put the caps in that. They will drop to the bottom eventually. I will close the lid and then I will start it um, on whatever, two minutes, four minutes, depending on how dirty uh, the, uh, the, uh, the caps are. Um, and eventually they will come out clean as new. So that works. But UV light, UV lamp, very important because UVA and UVB is not good for the capsules, but UVC um, can be used. Okay, have a good time. I hope you learned something. You uh, had some repetition of something you already knew. I hope I didn't waste your time. I hate wasting my own time, but I really hate wasting someone else's time. Thank you for watching.